Hi and welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your bonus Christmas love reading, which covers from now up until the end of December. It is a general reading, so as trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. I am running a coupon code offer at the moment, valid from now until the end of December. You can get $10 off that 45 minute pre-recorded personal reading. Uh, the coupon code is going to pop up here and be in the description box below. It also includes an Akashic Record check as well as transformational coaching and chakra balance as well as intuitive card reading. Yeah, So if you're interested in that, go check it out. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. The 2020 forecasts are available now. My website is, is a one-hour a uh, pre-recorded reading of all your predictions for 2020 includes career and finance, love and relationships, your 2020 predictions as well as general energies. We dive deep into those opportunities, challenges, things you need to focus on in 2020, as well as higher guidance with crowning energies and a Akashic record check of your past life information. The uh, link for that's going to pop up over here in a second. All the info is also in the description box below. Numbers are limited, so you need to get in and book early for those. I'm only doing them from now up until the end of January. All right, let's get started with your reading. I'm going to open up your reading with the uh, Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine to learn. Now let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. In your love reading. Oh, this is beautiful. Got these two boughs of a tree or two trees bending towards each other yeah it says aquarius as the seasons of life turn remember your life and all of your experiences are driven by the invisible wheels of love life is an eternal ocean and death and rebirth are the rising and falling of the same wave attached to every ending is new beginning oh, it's kind of beautiful mm -hmm. So uh, in terms of love and romance, we're going to be having a look at the Romance Angel Oracle. Applies to singles and couples. Let's see what comes out for you, Aquarius. Also, check out your mid-month if you haven't seen it already. Mm. You've got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So you can be culturally different. Um, it could be age difference that's going on, different interests. Yeah. Particularly if you've got a list and you're very specific, it's about being more open. You've also got the message to pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So anything coming up, don't ignore them, yeah? And those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Red flags can trip you up later on if you ignore them. Mm. You've also got the message that it's safe for you to love to open your heart up. To receive the highest love of all kind of speaks to those who've been burned a bit in love in the past. It's about letting love in again, yeah. Mm, yeah. Because the situation's calling for you to have faith and trust, whether you're singled or coupled up, yeah. That often speaks to going with the flow and letting life unfold. Mm, wow. For some of you, there's a reconciliation coming in. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Can speak to a past lover. It can speak to someone you've had a past life relationship with, yeah? Key message you've got is pay attention to the red flags. If it didn't work out the first time, make sure things have changed the second time around. And if you're not open to that, you may just have an, an ex-lover knocking on your door, yeah? You've also got uh, the honeymoon card here, which is all about spending holiday time together for those of you that are coupled up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. You've got this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right under it, safe for your love. You've got to allow your heart and soul to sing with passion. It's also about letting that uh, passionate side of self, opening up to that intimacy, all that kind of thing, yeah. Trusting in the connection. Mm. You've also got the message to lean on your friendships and ask your friends for help. Um, singles, perfect time of year to be out and out and about with your friends, yeah? Meet those new love interests. 
Um, if you go in any through anything that's a little challenging in love, it's about connecting with your friends. Mm, yeah, and absolutely know that you are lovable. You absolutely deserve love. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put you some guidance with the Angel Answers Oracle. What is it Aquarius needs to know at this time? Mm, yeah, somebody's absolutely going to come in and ask you to reconsider them. Yeah, it goes hand in hand with the reconciliation card. Mm. You've got success. So key message to this, if you pay attention to the red flags, work through those, you'll have success this time. It's sitting right with that as well as this could be the one. Mm. You also got helpful people. So the angels are supporting this connection at this time. It can be a divine connection. Mm. Again, you've got to ask for help from others. There's a lot here about leaning on your friendships as well. Yeah. The support systems around you are going to be very important. Mm. Again, second message to trust. For those of you where this reconciliation comes in, give it some serious consideration because the universe is saying to trust. Yeah. Always a conscious choice. All right, let's pull your crowning energy from the uh, Crystal Spirit Oracle. Mm, beautiful. You pulled Labradorite Magic. I have to say I love the colour of Labradorite. So many different colours in it, yeah? Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aquarius, the spirit of Labradorite makes his appearance as a bird-like shaman. He guards the portal to initiation and self-discovery. His small wings are open wide, inviting you to take the journey with him. The spirit of Labradorite lives in the realms of earth magic. It reveals your spirit guides to you so you can become more attuned to the other worlds. The dull greys of this stone magically transform into different lights to iridescent blues, greens and yellows like the beautiful wings of a butterfly. When Labradorite appears, it asks you these questions. How can I bring more magic into my life and what is magic? When Labradorite appears in your reading, it's time to spice things up and bring more magic into your life. It shows when things may seem dull and mundane on the outside, but when viewed from a different perspective, they hold magic, like the magic of life and the magic of you. Labradorite guides you to self-discovery, which once revealed transforms into self-mastery. The magic of this transformation becomes a blessing showing you that every part of life is interconnected. Labradorite asks you to look deeper into your own magic, to recognize the beauty in all people and all things. And uh, there's a suggested practice here, which says, as you go about your day today, notice the things around you and take the time to stop. Feel them, smell them, who made them? When and why was it made? Look deeper and acknowledge the magic force in all things. Oh, a beautiful practice yeah all right if you enjoyed this reading please like share comment subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to grab your coupon code before you go if you want to get a discounted personal reading with me check out your 2020 forecast and for now much love much light namaste mm -hmm.